This is Monty's electric bike using the eLeak Lite frame set, BBS HD and high voltage tuned controller package with ASI's Back 855. He put this amazing bike together for about 6,500 Aussie bucks, which is currently about 4,500 US dollars. It's a really high quality build and puts a fair few commercially available products to shame. There is a list of parts in the description and if you wanted to ask Monty about the bike, you can find him on the High Voltage Discord. After a look at the bike, there will be some riding footage on and off the road. The first thing to note is just how clean the bike looks. Every wire is tidied away and secured in place. All the parts match. I think Monty spent a long time trawling the net to get everything in red. The attention to detail is exceptional. The bike is set up to do both urban riding as well as bush trails in the outback. The suspension is on the cheaper side, but adequate for the kind of riding that Monty is interested in. The same goes for power and speed. The motor and controller are capable of a bit more, but what is important is setting up the bike to be comfortable for how you want to ride. When you have a budget, you have to make compromises somewhere, and I think that Monty has made sensible choices. The pedals, handlebars, mudguards are cheaper parts, they're functional and do the job. You can easily spend hundreds on these parts, and really, what for? Where he has not skimped are things like four piston hydraulic brakes, which are important for safety. Also, the saddle is a very nice model from Brooks. Monty rides a lot, so making sure you're comfortable is essential and worth spending the extra. The drivetrain uses lecky parts, which are also not cheap, but the gold standard for BBSHD drivetrains. An Onyx rear hub and Bucklow's chainring complete a strong system that will stand for abuse. In terms of power, the bike uses a 72 volt main battery, as well as a secondary 12 volt battery for the lighting. Both the batteries were from Electronics Workshop, with the 12 volt system using the Omnicell wireless system. All of the electronics are hidden from view, with the high voltage controller system under the seat. There are also two charge ports for both the main 72 volt battery, as well as the 12 volt system. For security, it has an air tag and motion sensor alarm. Security is always tricky with e-bikes, but compared to a commercial bike which has none, this is a good step. If you like this bike and want to learn more about building electric vehicles, you're welcome on our Discord server. There is a link to information on Discord in the description. I could go on and on and on about how good this build is, but I will leave it here and you can enjoy some clips of the bike being ridden. Thanks for watching the channel. Cheers.